Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a haul type thing and a swatch video of the e.l.f. Halloween beauty books um, from Target. They were six dollars a piece. So, and I'm wearing the vampire look today and at the end of the video I'll have a tutorial about how I got this look together. So I'll do those swatches last. I'll start out with the Wicked, which the outside looks like this. And I've done a um, look with this already, and I, um, I'll i link my Instagram to it, and I'll put the picture on the Instagram so you can see what the look looks like. And when you open them up, it just looks like this. And it has like a little kind of direction on how to get this look here and it has eyelashes which I have these eyelashes on they all have eyelashes with them but they're all the same eyelashes so I just went ahead and used because I've already used these for the first look I did in my on my Instagram photo um, so I went ahead and just used these again instead of pulling these other ones out and using those so it comes with the eyelashes and it has eight eyeshadows it has a sponge applicator brush not a brush, just a sponge applicator. It has a this one has a black eyeliner and black lip gloss. And let me show you some swatches here. These colors are very pretty and very pigmented. There's a little bit of fallout, but not so bad. The um, the more matte. Well, it's not really matte. There's actually glitter in it, but it's drier than the other ones, the more shimmery ones. And it's not as pigmented. This is the Wicked, and it's actually reversed. <laughs> but let me hold it closer. I've got a shadow on there. I can't figure out where that's coming from. But from the look I did on Instagram, I used this color and this color and that color. That's the colors for those. You got kind of a kind of a like a cream color and like a coppery orangey color. This is a purpley color more of a bronzy color. You got the green, the silver, the shimmery black which is kind of drier and then you got the matte black. Well it's, yeah, it's maybe, it's kind of matte, maybe more of a satin. This one and this one, these two are very dry and not quite as pigmented if you can see for being as dark of a color they are. It's this one and this one. That purple one is probably the driest. Pretty color, but I'm kind of sad that it's actually that dry. But So that's the swatches for that one. Oh, let me do a swatch of the lip gloss and the eyeliner. I do believe that, all, that three out of the four have black eyeliner. So I'm, I won't do swatches with all those. But And the eyeliner is, I'm not a fan of. It's dry. It kind of skips on your eyes. So I, I did not use that on this look I have today because it just wasn't working for me. So... The lip glosses, I love the lip glosses. They're pigmented, they're not sticky. I just love the way they feel. This is the eyeliner, and that's actually a couple times over, and that's the lip gloss. Look how pigmented that is. So pretty. So that is the Wicked. If you hear anything in the background, my dog is in here with me. He's a little Shih Tzu. He, at the moment, he is napping in his little bed. He's usually around here um, squeaking his toy and throwing his toys around when I'm trying to either film or just do my makeup in general. The next one is the Enchanted. And it looks like this. It has the purple lettering. And the Wicked had um, silver lettering. And the Enchanted and the inside, they all have this on the side. This little cover here to cover up the makeup. It kind of shows the look. And there went my eyeliner. 
these are the lashes that it comes with. They all come with the same and the same eye glue, which I didn't use that glue either. I don't really like the glue, but it doesn't seem to work quite as good as some other ones. And there with my lip gloss. Okay, so the colors, you get a cream color, a light purple lilac color, a darker purple, pink, a pretty mauve kind of pink. This one is more of a lighter pink. And then you get a silvery, and then the blue, and then the darker blue. And they're all, they all have some kind of shimmer. So most of them have glitter. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and a little bit in this one are all have glitter in them. This one and this one are just shimmery. There's no really matte colors. Okay. Do some swatches of these. And this one come with, with the cap, but it came with a a white eyeliner. Take the cap off, but well, if you can see that. And it has a lighter pink lip gloss. Move it if you can see. This is the cream. It's like a I guess it's more of a white, but it's not very pigmented at all. This one's very pretty. That's the lighter purple, the darker purple, the lighter pink, no, the mauvier pink. And then this is the other pink, look how pretty that is. And then we got the silvery, the actual silver, it looks purple, like a blue tint in there, but it's... Yeah. It actually has like a, more of a purpley tint, but it looks blue, I don't know if it's just the way the light's hitting it or what, but then you get that blue and that blue. Those are pretty. Let me swatch the eyeliner. I don't like this one. It's very dry. And the color is pretty. If, the, if it wasn't so dry and hard to use. Lip gloss. Lip gloss is gorgeous. I love the lip gloss. There's the eyeliner. There's the lip gloss. Very pretty. So that's that one. And that one is called Enchanted. Next is Diva, and a Diva is in like a hot pink. Like that. Has the look here. Here's some of my stuff. Got the eyelashes. And it has a pink color too. It's more of a hot pink in the lip gloss. From what I use so far in the, the Wicked and the Vampire, I'm really impressed with the colors. The lip glosses I just love. The um, Most of the shadows I really like. Uh, the eyeliner is a uh, fail, but what are you going to do about that? So, <laughs> but Let me go ahead and do some swatches of these. Let me tell you what colors you get here. You get let me take these out before they fall out on me. You get the white, the tan, the kind of mustardy, dark yellow. This is kind of a charcoal gray. You get the lighter pink and the darker pink. This is a purpley. It looks blue on camera, but it's actually more purpley. And this is a black. And you can see which ones have the glitter and which ones are just shimmery. And... Yeah, there's no matte. The, most, some of them they look on in the pan like they're shimmery, but then when you swatch them, they have a matte finish to them. So let's see. Let's do some swatches of the diva. Again, the white is not pigmented. This one is not as dry as the other ones, but it's not pigmented. I'm not, like I'm putting like a lot of layers on here. This is the tan. It's not showing up. It's more of a skin tone than anything, so it's not going to show up that good. This goldy, mustardy yellow. Can you see that? That is so pretty. Oh, I love that. And then the charcoal gray. 
that kind of has a purpley tone to it too. This pink is so pretty. Let's try the darker one. The darker one, it's not pigmented, it's drier. Pretty color, but it's just, I mean, uh, there's, it's really hard to build it up. <laughs> Same with the dark purpley color. The black is not pigmented that much. The colors. And here is the swatch. This is the white, kind of on my knuckle here. And then this is the tan, which pretty much is the skin tone, so it's not showing up. This is the gold. Look how pretty that is. This one is the charcoal. And it, I don't know if you can tell, but it has, it's definitely a metallic. And it, this one's metallic. And it has purpley kind of a tone to it but I'm showing up this is that pink a lighter pink and it's metallic look how pretty that is this one is the darker pink it's not very pigmented it's I don't know if you can even tell but it's not very buildable either it's just like really as dark as the color is it's sad. it's kind of a shame that it's that I mean it's like wiping right off when I wipe it off but anyway this is the darker it's in the the pan it looks purple and here it looks blue. Um, I my and the actual color is a purple color. It's like dark purple. It's not very pigmented either. And this is the black. And that's not very pigmented for black. But there's that. I really love the gold. The yellow gold. It's more mustardy gold, I guess. <laughs> and then this metallic pink. The metallics are just so pretty. Lip gloss looks. Oh, that's so pretty. This one actually. No, I was gonna say it looks like it has glitter in it, but I don't think it does. My hand is still a little wet from my wipe, so it's not swatching very good. But that's the color of it. Very pretty. This one is one I'm very excited to use this color on. So that is that one. And that one was the Diva. Now we're going to go to the Vampire, which Vampire is written in red. And that's the look I have on today. I, love, I just love the lip gloss. And it looks like this. It has the look there. It has this. These very pretty colors. And it has the red lip gloss. And the black eyeliner. The only one that didn't have black eyeliner was the Enchanted, I believe. Yeah, the Enchanted had the white eyeliner. Yeah. And today, for this look, I used this on as a base, this one in my crease, this one on my outer V. This one underneath my eye, like under here, my eyeliner. And this one I used above my eyelashes to kind of blend them with my, um, blend the eyeliner with the fake eyelashes and all that. So, do swatches of these. This white is actually more pigmented than any of the other whites. It's very pretty. I have that in my outer corner, or I'm sorry, my inner corner, and then as a highlight. I forgot about that. This one has, this book has more fall colors in it, like the the oranges and the burgundies. And they are just so pretty. Why are they making noise as he rolls around in his bed? I'll show them to you in just a minute when I get this finished. wagging his tail at me. <laughs> okay, so these are the colors. And this is the swatches. I don't know what that shadow was from, but this is the white. This is the 
kind of an orangey tan and this is more of the burnt orange and this one is the burgundy which looks more has more of a grayish tint to it than the burgundy this one is a dark brown this one here is a dark brown this one is the mm, I don't know what color you would call that one but it's a wine kind of color this one is the dark gray and this one is the dark brown this one is a very dark brown but it's kind of not coming off brown it's coming off more gray but anyway these are really pretty this one let's see this one here is my favorite because it has it's more metallic and that is this one Let me swatch. I'm not going to swatch the eye pencil, the eyeliner. I'm not going to swatch that, but I'll swatch the lip gloss. It's not really a red red. It's kind of a pinky red. But it's just really pretty right here. Yeah, it definitely comes off more pink on camera. That is that. So those are my swatches. If you want to stay tuned, um, I'm going to, if there's enough space, if this hasn't run too long, I'm going to uh, add the tutorial for this look at the end. If it seems like it's going to be too long, I'll just do a whole other video. Let me show you my, my dog. Just, I'm going to show you my dog. He's rolling around in his bed. Being a silly goose. He definitely is due for a grooming, so come here. Ooh. See? Say hi, Ralphie. Yeah, this is my baby. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial using this, this Elf Beauty book and Vampire. That's all the colors in it. Got eyelashes, all the colors, got a little sponge brush, eyeliner, and lip gloss. I've already done my foundation, concealer, blush, eyebrows. One thing I haven't done is my eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lip gloss, and eyelashes. So let me tell you what I used on my face already. I used this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous in the color 805. I'm kind of on the fence about this. I've been trying to apply it different ways. I've used a brush. I've used a sponge. Uh, I used this today in the uh, Real Techniques sponge. Um, use my fingers. It's just something about it. it just doesn't sit in my skin very well so I might not be using this anymore. I'm not really sure. And for my concealer I've used the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline in the color Fair. This is just under my eyes and around my nose. For my eyebrows I use the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in light and blush and bronzer use the elf contouring blush and bronzer duo in the color Saint Lucia those colors Oops. those colors I use the elf high definition under eye setting powder to set my concealer I used as a highlighter, I used the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. Looks like that. And I just used that on top of my cheekbones, right here on my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. I usually use it on my eye, like right here too, um, under my eyebrows. I might leave that out to use that after if I don't find, like, yeah, there's one in there I could use, so I'll use that. Um, oh, for my eyebrows, I also use this e.l.f. wet gloss um, to help set the eyebrows so they don't, they'll stay in place. To set everything, I use the e.l.f. high definition powder in sheer. 
and it's all dirty, sorry. Um, I also used the e.l.f. Mist and Set to set my makeup. So let's get into the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. First I'm going to start out with this color here to go all over my lid. It's kind of These are kind of colors I'm not used to. I usually do a neutral eye. And these are kind of have more of an orange or orangey kind of a fallish tint to them. Maybe that'll be good. Now I'm going to go in the crease with this one. This one's a really pretty color. Very pumpkin-y and it has some glitter in it. Blend it out a little bit. Start checking my mirror, see if it's even. Okay. Now I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm going to use this color here. I'm going to kind of go around the outer B. Kind of blend it up there. Let me blend, blend that all a little bit. Let me use a bigger brush here. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this here. It's almost a white. It might be too much, but I'm going to try to do that like up here. It might be too much, but we'll see. It's pretty white. Let me add a little bit this a little bit of this with it. Maybe it'll kinda Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take that white and just go like right around my eyebrow there. Oh, focus, there we go.
This is a highlight. Okay. I'm gonna take that white. Oh, bump my elbow. And just go right here. Blend that a little bit. Oh, I think I need more. It doesn't feel like it's showing up very good. It's very. <sighs> These colors are very pigmented. I'm just using a very light hand because I don't. I'm not used to doing a lot of dark colors. So let me darken it up some so it shows up on here. That's a little better. work I think. Now I'm going to do some eyeliner. Um, this is the eyeliner that it came with. It's just the black. Yeah, it's the same one. Um, this one looks okay. The um, I used the, the Wicked book the other day and the eyeliner in it was very sharp around like this part here. I had like a bunch of things sticking out and I even sharpened it and it still kind of didn't fix it. So I was afraid to use it in my waterline or anything like that. So I used my uh, Rimmel Exaggerate, Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in Blackest Black. So I'm... Um, I'm going to try this and see if it works in my waterline. I'm going to do it along the outside of my upper lash line and I'm going to smudge some of one of the colors in my lower lash line. But I'm not so great at doing the upper lash line so bear with me and I don't not very good at all at doing the wing, wing liner so I just I don't like this eyeliner. Kind of a throwaway. I'm not gonna use it. I just I'm poking my eye out with it and it's not moving very good. It's not very smooth at all, it's very dry. I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Exaggerate. that and smudge it. I'm back. I put my eyeliner on. I was having issues with it. So, <laughs> now I'm back. So it looks like so far. 
I'm going to smudge. Uh, I'm going to smudge some of this on the, underneath to see how that looks. Just a little smudger here. Okay. So it looks like so far. A little bit of fall out, but not too bad. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. A little bit of mascara on. This is the Cover Girl Lash Blast Volume and Very Black. Just put a little bit. I'm gonna try to put the lashes on. Usually I put more, more of the uh, mascara on, but since I'm doing the lashes, I'm not going to this time. So I'll be right back with my lashes put on, hopefully. Okay, I'm back. Got my eyelashes on. I went along and on the upper lash line and put some of this to kind of blend the lash line in a little bit. And put a little bit more of the white in the corners of my eyes. So that's done. Now I'm going to do the lip gloss. doesn't have a color on it, but it's just like this. And I don't have any kind of liner or even balm or anything like that on my lips right now. So you can kind of see the true color of it. It's very pretty. Oh. Okay. I really realized how hard it was to put on your makeup in the viewfinder <laughs> without a mirror. So I had to use my mirror quite a bit. But it's the finished look. Let me back it up a little bit so you can see better. Oop, wrong way. I think it turned out pretty. I really like this lip color. And I'm surprised my lashes look as good as they do because I'm terrible at applying false eyelashes. So that's my video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give me some likes and subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.